is Instagram dead? What's going on guys? Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proof of marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music and bring it all the way over here where it becomes a legitimate business, providing you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. With so many different social platforms out there right now, with such limited amounts of time in our day to pursue a music career, which ones should we be focusing on? So a lot of people have been asking me if I think that Instagram is a dying platform, and honestly, that's a great question, especially since over the past few years, I've made quite a few videos walking people through Instagram growth strategies and tactics. It's something that we have to look at because things have definitely changed over the years. In fact, it's something that my team and I look over and discuss every few months and take a step back to see how Instagram has evolved over the the past 10 plus years. And that's something that we do on every platform, not just Instagram. So let's look at the facts. Instagram currently has roughly a billion active monthly users globally and over 500 million accessing the app daily. Instagram's also owned by Facebook, obviously, which is a publicly traded company responsible for providing some sort of financial return to its stockholders. Shout out to you if you have invested in Facebook. Anyway, what that means is that Facebook lets Instagram die and then all of a sudden that company valuation would plummet, which would absolutely have an effect on the stock prices and lose shareholders a ton of money, therefore losing Facebook loads of money, which isn't what any business is trying to do. On the flip side of that, uh, let's say that Facebook makes the majority of their revenue from advertisers using Facebook and Instagram to run ads, which is the truth. These advertisers pay more when A, there's more users, and B, when those users are spending more time, AKA uh, session time, on the app, and that's how they stay on the app, and that's how they get paid more money. Now, with that being said, is Instagram dead? not by any stretch of the imagination. It's just changing like it always has been, guys. The reason why some people will say that it's dead is because they might have experienced a pocket of growth and reach uh, that isn't performing the same as it used to now. And instead of shifting gears and changing how they use Instagram, they just jump right to the next thing and their uh, lack of evolution can be chalked up to Instagram's dead, bro, which I hear on a regular basis and I have for years. So why does this matter? Well, I've been seeing a lot of other people, especially these other marketing gurus on YouTube and TikTok and stuff, and they're pushing apps like TikTok super hard since you, you can experience, um, what do you want to call it, like a, a larger vanity metric pop in less time when it comes to growing, uh, and it feels like you're growing like crazy. And yes, the numbers can grow faster, but when you're provided almost no tools to grow your business, that's a problem. Now, obviously no app is perfect. And over time, I'm sure that new features and tools are gonna to roll out. But when it comes to building your brand, building your music-based business and your ecosystem, these things absolutely matter. Now, real quick, Instagram offers feed posts, Instagram stories, IGTV for longer form content and e-commerce store function if you're selling merch or other physical products and their TikTok competitor, which we've been talking about with Reels, not to mention giving you the ability to build out a beefy bio section and then send people to a link to wherever you want them to go. We have to keep in mind that the follower count matters way less than the number of people who are active in your community. But all too often we focus on the followers, we focus on the likes, which don't matter nearly as much as you might think. Now, before you try to roast me in the comments, let's put things into perspective for a second. I think most people would agree that making $75,000 a year with their music would be a respectable income, um, and most would be really happy with that, right? Well, you don't need 100,000 followers and a blue check mark to make that a reality. So let's say that over the course of a year or two, you build up a engaged follower, fan base, audience, whatever you wanna call it, of 3,000 people. And quick side note, with consistency, that number is going to continue to grow. So over the course of a year, with each of those people willing to give you an average of $25, which would uh, be for merch, maybe they contribute $3 a month to your Patreon style thing, tickets to a show, the revenue that trickles in from streams or YouTube or whatever. Well, that's $75,000 per year off of only 3,000 people. So can you build an awesome fan base of 3,000 people on Instagram? 5,000? 50,000? Absolutely and by using it as one of the main pillars of your ecosystem, we'll be able to convert followers to fans who will then become supporters and customers from a financial perspective. This shouldn't be that hard to wrap your head around, guys. That's why it's so important to watch how people use Instagram as consumers, while we utilize the platform as a business and marketing tool. Now, I gave you 3,000 fans into $75,000 USD, as an example of the relatively low spend per person compared to the good old thousand true fans concept, which gives you like, what is it? Um, hundred people, no, thousand people, 
$100 each year from a thousand people in order to make six figures, which on paper looks absolutely great, right? But as music creators, it's way easier to sustainably, sustainably, sustainably get $25 per person per year and then scale the audience. Let's get even more real with those numbers. As of shooting this video, uh, the average individual American income is $53,490, which if you apply the same 3,000 person concept to, would then only be $17.83 per year to hit that same number. Or if we kept the financial support breakdown at the $25 mark, then we'd only need a little over 2,100 supporters in an engaged individualistic audience to hit that same number. Guys, Instagram is powerful. YouTube is powerful. TikTok can be powerful. Even LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter could be doing really good things and giving you conversions and should be in this conversation too. It's all in how you use that, how you dial in your game plan and then how you follow through, which I just did an Instagram post on. What works for you one year is gonna have to be tweaked as time passes. That's business, that's all business. That's what all of this is about. That being said, you need to start looking at what you're doing as a business and not as a popularity contest or validation that you're good enough. I'll give you permission in this video. You are good enough. Is that good enough? Instagram's changed, but so have we. In fact, my team and I are building out a whole new module focused on Instagram growth in my upcoming Sell Music Masterclass 3.0, which I'm super excited about, which is gonna launch next month. Uh, and I'll give a breakdown of a bunch of strategies and tactics that are working incredibly well right now. And if you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the description box below. We're also launching a new completely free challenge next week, which will show you how powerful Instagram can be. I'm gonna walk through that with you. More details on that in the video coming uh, next, the next video that I upload, in fact. Guys, you need to stay consistent and provide your audience with an experience that they build into their daily routine. It takes more than just a fancy camera and good music to build a career in this stuff, guys. And I want you uh, to be a little bit more guided, right? And that's what I'm trying to provide to you. And if you want more guidance on other marketing aspects, I suggest you watch this video next. It's gonna get people uh, over to you, interested in what you're doing, and really give you some clarity. If you haven't yet, join the channel family by clicking that subscribe button and all the other stuff that I talk about at the end of videos. Come connect with me over on Instagram. And guys, until next time, I appreciate you watching.